good afternoon. Today, we're going to one of our favorite places in all of Florida. We're headed out for our anniversary trip mm -hmm. to Anna Maria Island. So we have, this is, we're filming this after the fact. We've already gone on the trip. It was great. We had a wonderful time. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Oh, it was not, a good time. <laughs> but another spoiler alert. Uh, we didn't realize it until I was editing the footage. There is a tiny like thing up here. It's going to be like right where my hand is for most of the video. So yeah, there was something on the sensor of the camera. Once again, that was the rental camera. Yeah. Just trying it out. So it was uh, like almost like a little fuzz or like a hair and we didn't know it. So I'm sorry. We know now. Uh, apologies in advance. Apologies accepted. Well, I wasn't apologizing to you. I'm just saying I'm accepting your apology. <laughs> okay, thank you. But uh, we know about it, just so you guys know. And it's not in the, any videos past this, it won't be in. Right. So, just so you know. But we had a great trip. We love Anna Maria Island. We found this house. So we get emails from the company that we usually use to rent the houses through. It's called AMI Locals. We're not working with them on this trip, but we still use them even when we're not like working with them. They sent us an email and they said, hey, here's some new houses for you to check out. Everybody got this email. It wasn't just, yeah, it us. Wasn't just us. And I saw this house and I was like, oh my goodness, I want to stay in this house. It's beautiful. So we got that house. Yeah. We're going to show it to you in this video. We had such a great time. The house was fantastic. Huge family trip. Yeah, the whole family was there. So we filmed this vlog is the entire week at the beach. Right. So we filmed a little bit each day. We, we really just focused on family and just spending time with each other, with the baby, with Jackson. We ate a lot of delicious food, but you're gonna see the whole week in this one video. Yeah, let's do it. All right, as soon as we walk in, we are greeted with, this is a beautiful little foyer down here. We can see out to the backyard right there. There is an elevator here. Oh, but you have to call it down and then you can use it because this is a lock here. Let's see, it'll say when the car is here. But what we'll do, oh, there's a little like mud room here. We'll take the stairs up and then we'll take the elevator another time. But look at this reveal up into to the main area of the house here. Look at this. Ooh, yeah, I like how big and open it is. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, good morning, baby Oliver. <laughs> oh, is he awake? Hey, he just woke guys. up. Hi, buddy. Yeah. He slept like the whole way up here. It was right? like he had a really long nap. This whole house, so it's new. They just really opened it to the public not too long ago. I think in February. Everything in this house is like an inspiration. Yeah, it's very nice. I'm looking at like every piece of hardware, every fixture. Every piece of furniture. Like even the, the drapes are so nice. All the like tables outside. I love these lights. Like this is so neat. I love it. It just is so new. It smells new. Like yeah. Brand new. So let's go check and see what else is on this level. I, have, I showed them that the elevator was there. I haven't taken it yet. Oh, okay. Because it was up. Does it go all the way up to the top floor? Yeah. Oh. So back here we've got, looks like some laundry. Oh, there's another bedroom back here. Wow, okay. I like that. Piece of driftwood up on the wall there. There's a bathroom in here. Oh, this is nice. And I like that there's a bathroom here and is there also a bathroom here? Yeah, like a little hall bath over here with just like a commode. Let's go up or let's go back out here. This was the door that led us in. And then this is the elevator again. And then this is one of the bunk bed rooms. Or this is the room with the bunk beds in it and a slide. And shout out to whoever designed this with some shelving here for you to put your phone and a, a plug to charge it over there. Look right. at the ceiling. Oh yeah. They even painted the ceiling. Is that paint? <laughs> I think it's wallpaper. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's so cool. I also like this simple like accent, the wood trim here. I think this is like, you know how shiplap is kind of like, was like last year's trend. Oh, it's so passe. Is, well, I, you know what I mean? How it like, it'll come back and it always does. But like, I think this is this year's trend. Yeah. Let me see what this bathroom, I love this light in the bathroom here. I do too. Look at that. Oh, the tile's nice too. Yeah. I love this house so much. It's very nice. Oh, it's like a blue oh, green. green. I thought it was dark blue. Yeah, it's like, that's cool. Like changes colors. you turn and, like, the light. The floating oh, thing yeah. here. 
This is nice. I love it. All right, let's head up the stairs. Let's, let's take, let's take, take the, the elevator. elevator. <laughs> I'm gonna call it. Okay. So this comes all the way from the bottom. You hear it? It's very quiet. It's gonna say car here. Oh. Car here. Oh, and then it opens the door. I wondered why the door was locked. And then we can go in. <laughs> and then we're going up to level three. Oh wait, do I close the door? Yeah, you have to close the door. Okay. That way it knows. Do I close this door? Oh, it does. Whoa, fancy! Look at that. Now we're, we're going up. Are we going up? Yeah. So the other rooms are on the third level? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like says, this giant mirror here he goes, too. I don't know what to do. I love this. Hello? Am oh, I getting a call in the elevator? Oh, okay. And then we came out. His car. And there's a, a little baby brother or a big brother over here. Let's go down here. Oh, Turquoise Coast. So wait, are there two? on this floor and two on the last the bottom floor? Yeah, there was one on the bottom floor. Where's the other third one? No, there was two, yeah. It was back oh. where the laundry room. Oh, okay, okay. Look at this room. Thank you. This, look at this room. It is awesome. Yeah, oh, in the bathroom. On, whoa, what are these things? Wow. Look at that. A little ensuite bathroom action going on. I love the tile in here, too. We're having some transition, color transitions between the, the daylight. Oh, look at the ceiling too. From here, we turn the corner. I like that there's just these giant pictures of people's legs with hats on and stuff. And then we head over here, and this is, I believe what they would call the main bedroom. I love this. It's so nice. And then looking out on the balcony, like a couch out here on the balcony? Yes. I love it. Everything about this is awesome. The closet here, pretty big closet too. Some extra blankets in there. A laundry basket for your dirty clothes. And then the bathroom here. Oh, I like it. It's like a long, deep bathroom. With a separate room for the toilet in there. Oh, and that's the shower. Somebody could be taking a bath and you could be taking a shower right next to them with this rainfall shower head from the ceiling and this bath right here. Wow, that's so much fun. I love that. I think we'll do that. Take a bath and a shower, a bower. Look at that. And then I wanted to look back at the bedroom over here. Oh yeah, this is awesome. And that's it, that's, well, we gotta go up to the, the, the roof, and then we gotta go check out the pool area. So let's go out to the roof. I like this giant mirror here too. Let's go see. If I go out here, and then all the way up, We're up on the roof now. And there's a fire pit up here. You can see the ocean out there. We'll be able to see the sunset perfectly over here. I thought maybe, we, oh we can, you just barely see the bay through the trees over there. A bit concerned about the noise that will be coming from this construction site next door, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's see if we can get a bird's eye view of the pool from up here. No, we can't. But what we can get is a bird's eye view from the pool. If we go out on the main bedroom's roof and look out, should be able to see the pool. Let's go back down. Oh, I like that they have outlets and stuff up here. We can have a party. This is gonna be great. And I came to the main bedroom. Oh, this like tile out here is amazing. And then, let's see. Oh yeah, a little sneak peek right there of the backyard. There's some putting greens. Jackson's gonna love it. All right, I came out onto the balcony that is on the second floor. This is beautiful, like seating arrangement here. This is that tile, you can get a little bit better view of it. Like huge, huge chunks of tile that they put down here. 
and let's head down the stairs over here. Oh, the air conditioners. All right, let's go down the stairs. Let's have a look at this backyard. Ooh, already. I'm in love. There's so much shade. This is so nice. There's a putting green. This is all AstroTurf. A volleyball back here. All right. Let's see. There's some built-in bench seats up next to the hot tub there. There are some built-in loungers right here on this sun shelf. Some other loungers that are out here in the sun a little bit more. There is a grill around the corner over here. Ooh, this like border matches what the tile was up on the decks. A nice grill over here. This is so great. A nice table out back. There's another grill. It's just like a summer kitchen out here. I wonder why you need two grills. There's a refrigerator, big TV out here, a ping pong table, nice chairs for you to sit and talk with the people in the hot tub, as well as the people in the pool. Whoa, look at this fancy thing. Wow. All right. So that's it. That was the tour of the house. This is going to be great. I cannot wait to get in this pool. Can't wait to play some putt putt too. So. Good morning. It's actually the next day. <laughs> it is. Um, it was just complete chaos the first day. Everybody was running around. Kids were like running into each other and like we were eating. We got pizza and like we went down and we watched the sunset, but like. Well, we, was... have, we have six more days to watch. No, five more days to watch the sunset. Yeah. So you'll definitely see it. It was a lot. There was a lot going on last night. I was trying night. to show the baby. Oh, so, oh no, I you... thought you were trying to turn. <laughs> I was trying to show the little baby. Say hi. Good morning. Say good morning, little baby. Good morning. He's got his cute outfit on. Yeah, but we, um, the kids got in the pool. The pool was a little bit warm, yeah, so there was what... something going on where the uh, the heater was on. Yeah, just... But we figured out how to turn it off. Here's the thing. If you make your pool too fancy, mm -hmm. it's hard to operate. Oh yeah. <laughs> so just, we just dig me a hole in the ground and put some water in it. Yeah, and like give me some like actual switches. This one's got like a touch panel. Oh I'm yeah. Like, yeah. It's, I don't need a touch panel. I need just like give me an on-off button for the heater. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're getting in the pool for sure because it's a little bit cooled off. Yeah. Baby go can get on. in the pool. We bought him a um a little float, so he's gonna be like swim for the first time. Yeah. Plus like, there's not, the not sun really. shelf, so he can just like kind of sit there on somebody's lap. Yeah, I'm excited for the sun shelf, but I don't know if you can see it down there, but we played some golf. You can see the little golf club down there. We did a little a little putting, but I love this house. How did you sleep? Really good. Yeah, me too. Jackson's still asleep. Yeah. So, uh -huh. um, but yeah, nice. the baby slept through the night. It was great. Right? Yeah. Big sigh. Here's our little setup. We have the baby here. Jackson was in this bed here, but then he came into bed with us last night. Where are we? You're gonna do a flip again? All right, let's see it. Almost, almost. You ready? Come, shake and pull for me. Good job, buddy. Good job. You ready? Set. Go. I'm getting. Don't forget to pull with your arms too, buddy, okay? Oh, look, it's the baby's first time in the pool. What do we think? We got this cool, we actually bought this for Jackson, and then we never used it for Jackson. So now we're using it for baby Oliver. Pretty sweet. He's got, he's made in the shade. Oh, look, it's a baby riding a dolphin into the sunset. Hi, buddy. <coughs> Wow! This one's called Lay Cool. That's the name of the brand. I don't know where we found this. I think we just got it on Amazon. Amazon, yeah. And Jackson, did you show them how he's how he can swim underwater now? Yeah. You did show him. Mm -hmm. So we've been having so much fun. So you guys just saw Jackson swimming, 
and then he went up and took a little nap. Show him your hair. Let me see your hair, buddy. Let's see your hair. Yeah, <laughs> that's vacation hair right there. <laughs> we had a good nap. It was like three hours. Oh, you gonna give little brother a kiss? I've been trying to get some work done. And okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh goodness. So this little baby was napping. Big brother was napping. I was trying to get some work done. I napped for like a little bit with, with Jackson too, which was great. The beds here are so comfortable. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, like I feel like I've gotten the best sleep ever here. Hmm. So. Nice. Yeah, what about you? You're like Mike Wazowski by Jackson. All right, for dinner tonight, going to the beach house. We like this restaurant because it's right here on the beach. There are some tables out in the sand, but we got a big group of us, so we're underneath the cover, but we still got a view of the water. Oh, looking at the food here. Yeah, this is nice. What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? Ooh, a lot of different, uh, a lot of different seafood here. Let's see here. I might get this grilled chicken sandwich. Sounds pretty delicious. The Beach House Burger. You know I love a burger. What is this? This is a burrata. Balsamic melon and beets. Okay. We got some arancini. Jackson got a grilled cheese. And he says that the uh, French fries are a little bit too spicy for him, so they're gonna bring out some non-spicy. We got some melon here. We got some the bread service here. And some calamari. What else do we get? Very fancy. I'll tell you who was the most surprised. Oliver. I got this burger, which normally comes with um, mushrooms and onions, but I got it without the mushrooms and onions. It's delicious. My mom, how on the other hand, got it with the mushrooms and onions. A little bit of ketchup on there too. My brother got a pesto pasta. Good morning from Anna Maria Island. We are headed down this morning to get some breakfast. One of our favorite places on the island called Ginny and Janie's. It's very eclectic, delicious food, and it is within walking distance of the house that we're staying in right now. So it's gonna be a little bit of a warm walk on a very, like a pretty busy, the main road on the island, but it's within walking distance. This is Gulf Drive right here. And this is the house we're staying in. So, it's not bad. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but up there there's a yellow sign. That's where we're headed to. Well, and we are gonna go to the beach today, so the house is right there, that white one right there. And that's the beach right there, so it's not too bad of a walk at all. Ooh, the porch, the last time we were here, it, uh, we ate here and it was delicious. I think we'll have to try it again. There it is, this is where we're eating. Ginny and Jane E's Cafe and Gift Store at the old IGA, I don't know what that means. Home of the giant cinnamon roll. You guys, if you've seen our, our Anna Maria videos, you've seen this place before, but it's always so crowded. You know it's good when it's like this crowded every morning. Yeah, right? So, we're also here right kind of late. Chicken. Oh yeah, gotta come by the, gotta come see the chicken. <laughs> and the flamingo. So most things are for sale. Here, like all these books and everything. I'm wondering if the golf clubs are for sale. All right, here's what I got. I got a bacon, Egg and cheese croissant sandwich, side of eggs. Those were actually from Jackson's, but he didn't want eggs today, so I'll show you what he got. So he got some toast, some sausage, some bacon. There was supposed to be a, a thing of fruit with this, too. And then this is what Jen got was the Skips burrito. It's got like onions, peppers, mushrooms, bacon, cheese, eggs, and then a side of salsa. Looks really good. And they just started making cheesy hash brown casseroles, so I ordered that too because I want to try it. I wanted to kind of give you guys a little look at some of the stuff that they have for sale in here. Some wild mugs. This is the fun stuff. That's where it's at. Got candles. Got clothes. We got paintings. We got, uh, oh, it says tanning. It's a hanging light. These are lamps. Oh, we can get these things too. It's just like eclectic art and things like that. These are, oh, they're tiki torches. These are, there's some cute stuff here. Mermaid tape. I don't know what you use mermaid tape for. I like this thing a lot. All right, we came up to the roof. Cause it's time to make s'mores, right buddy? Yep. Are you excited for it? Yep. Did you see the sunset? Oh, it's behind some clouds. I see him. You see it? Yeah. Okay, well that's good. Wait, is it way past our bedtime? Yes. 
Right now it's almost 8.30. What time do you normally go to bed? At 8. At 8. Okay. Well, way past our bedtime. Look at the reverse of the sunset. Also beautiful. Oh, uh, see that? What? Can we do s'mores right now? Yeah, we're going to do some s'mores. We did, however, get the tiniest sticks to do it. So I think adults are going to have to cook the marshmallows and then give it off to the kids to eat. What do you think? Yeah. It's pretty fluffy, but we want it to be a little bit milky. Burning my fingers. All right, buddy, what do you think of it? I need to get my finger off to my hand. Oh, yeah. Make it be hot. Is it too hot for you? No, it's too good for you. It's too, too juicy? No. Be careful, it's very hot. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Hey! Daddy! Yummy! That's mine! Today is a beach day, but the first thing we have to do... Can we, can we get a donut right now? So we have to go get donuts. So let's go get our donuts. Alright, here we go. The donut experiment. Yeah, look at this, all kinds of different toppings for donuts. It's kind of like a, like a Chipotle, but for donuts. Yeah. All right, we're back with the donuts. Let's have a look and see what we got. Ooh, look at these. I got bacon. Bacon? I'm showing them off. Yeah, we got this one for Jackson here, special one. Oh, key lime, yeah. S'mores. And then the rest of these are kind of like DIY. This is maple bacon. This is chocolate with sea salt and chocolate drizzle. This is chocolate with Oreo and chocolate drizzle. Chocolate with chocolate chips and peanut butter drizzle. Chocolate with Reese's and peanut butter drizzle. Drizzle. Yeah, just one second. This one's s'mores. Chocolate with coconut. Chocolate with M&Ms and peanut butter drizzle. This one I think was just powdered. This is vanilla with... Uh, what are those things called? Fruity Pebbles and then a Raspberry Drizzle. This one's Key Lime and this one is just regular with vanilla and then rainbow sprinkles because I thought maybe Jackson would like that one. All right, Jackson, what's your verdict? Are these good? Good donuts? Yeah, do you like it? Yeah? It's a beach day. It is a beach day. Oliver's first time at the beach? Well, second time. He was sleeping when we went out to watch the sunset one day, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. How'd you like your donut? I still have one left to eat. But how it was, was your really first good. one, your sea yeah, salt one? it was delicious. I loved it. Oh, okay. I kind of thought it would be like flaky salt though, but I think it was just like table salt. Oh yeah, there's like <laughs> sea salt, quote unquote. Yeah, from the sea. Yeah, it's a close by. <laughs> Bought it at the Publix near the beach. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go out to the ocean today, Jackson. That'll be fun. We're gonna try to do some little bit of snorkeling, right? You're gonna bring your goggles and your uh, floaties because it's a little bit rough out there. We went out there earlier to set up the tent We'll put in the footage of me setting like after the tent was set up right now. All right, there it is, our creation. We came down to the beach, we loaded it up. We got ourselves a nice little, nice little covering here. We brought this like, co like sand thing for the baby to sit in, but it's huge. I don't even know if it would fit underneath this thing. So, good times. So we just walked down to set up our tent on the beach. We're going back to get our bathing suits on. But as we were passing by, there's these things, sand helper. It is a wheelchair that you can use on the, on the sand, like an electric wheelchair. Brilliant, so smart. But yeah, now we're gonna go to the beach and spend all day out at the beach. We've got our, our shade set up, got some chairs out there. We're gonna bring an octagon thing for the baby to sit in. Jackson and me are gonna go out in the ocean. It's gonna be a fun time. Let's go do it. Bring the GoPro with us too. See if we can see anything, it's a bit choppy. If we had gone a few days ago, it was a little bit smoother. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see what we can see. Apparently, there was a lot of sand dollars out there the other day. All right, bud. We're going in the ocean. What do you think? We're in the ocean. There's our full setup up there. We're headed into the ocean. It's a bit, a bit choppy today, so we got our floaties on. We're out here. Let's see. They are making us go up and down, up and down, up and down. Look at this big wave. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is this is not typical for this side of the of the peninsula. Normally, this is what it's like down on the on the east coast. But we got a storm coming in tomorrow, so we got, we got some choppy waves, right, bud? Yep. Whoa! Look at that boat coming by. Yeah. Wow. Very old. Is it? Does it look old? 
Oh, okay, that's the kind of boat I want. There you go. Whoa! We got some big waves coming. Right? What do you see? You see any big ones? You see any big ones coming? Oh, I think I see a big one coming right now. Oh, it's not not so big. Oh, it's kind of big right here. Oh, here's another big one. Oh yeah, there is another big one over there. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's kind of gotten kind of small now. What's going on? There's going to be a big one that sneaks up on us, right? Yes. You think that's going to happen? Well, right here? No, no, it's kind of small. Oh, I think I see one coming though. A big one? I think I see a big one coming. Oh, is that it? Oh no, it's kind of small. See? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's the big one. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, and another. Oh, there's a big one over there. Oh my. Oh, it's big. It's big right here. Whoa. Ah. We got splashed right in the face. Oh yeah, there's some big ones over there. What do we see underneath us? Is there anything oh. underwater? I didn't see anything. All right, so we took a break from being out in the ocean. Baby brother actually went back to the house and we are hanging out here, digging in the sand, right? Yeah, yeah. you like it? Do you like the beach, Jackson? You like the pool better? Yep. Yeah. I like the pool better. But the ocean's still fun though, right? Yep. Yeah. You just don't like the salt. Right? Yeah, the sand goes in my eyes. Oh, you don't like it when the sand goes in your eyes. Yeah. Once we get a little bit older, then we'll be able to not have to worry about that sort of stuff. You know what you know what helps with that? Wearing your sunglasses. And your goggles. And your goggles, yeah. Wear your sunglasses when you're on the sand and your goggles when you're in the water so you won't get any sand in your eyes if you're wearing your sunglasses and you won't get any salt in your eyes if you're wearing your goggles, right? <laughs> so we'll have to start wearing our sunglasses. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I like it. Do you see this bridge connects to this bridge? I see it, yeah. So I realized this is a truly unique Orlando, like Florida type problem, but I would like for him to wear his sunglasses more and he doesn't like wearing them, which I don't understand because he'll go outside and be like, ah, oh, it's so bright out here. And I'm like, if you just put on your sunglasses, we are good to go. He just doesn't like them. So do you all have any tricks for getting kids to wear sunglasses? No idea when that happened, but apparently I turned on something that was called like cinematic vlog. I don't know if like the colors are completely different now, but we're back, baby. I don't know. I have to figure out what that was and how it got turned on. Didn't want it on, but here we are. We're back from the beach. We're going to uh, the sandbar, one of our favorite restaurants on the island. Hopefully it won't be too crowded. Usually it is. Usually it really starts getting really crowded around seven, but it's about six right now. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're heading down there. All right, so we made it to the sandbar but it's an hour wait. The other news is this might be the shortest wait on the island. So I think we're waiting an hour. God, we finally sat down. It was about an hour and a half, and this is what we're getting. Or this is the the menu here. We already ordered the Brussels sprouts. They said the Brussels sprouts will bring some flies to the table, which will be exciting. <laughs> and then we also ordered some bread. So this is the place that we come to that you put your toes in the sand. We're not on the sand. Yeah, we're like right next to the sand. Sand adjacent. And we get to watch the sunset. All right, for Jackson, we played it a little bit easy. We've got cheese pizza, applesauce and tropical fruit. Ooh, so tropical. Yeah, it looks good. I also ordered the crispy Brussels sprouts. They said the flies would zone in on it as soon as it hit the table. We've seen two of them so far, but they were here because of the calamari too. No, they're, I think we're gonna see more. Oh yeah, look at them, they're zoning in on it. Starting to see the sunset. Colors are starting to come. They also told us that they have a competition for whichever table gets closest to the sunset's actual time when the sun has gone below 
the horizon. So I'm interested, I did 8.26 and 55 seconds. I went with the burger, I added bacon to it. Look at these french fries I got. Look at this, they're very delicious. Oh yeah, I like that. Jen got the stuffed shrimp. Crab stuffed shrimp. Crab stuffed shrimp, eh? With um, Caribbean rice and veggies. Succotash. All right, 822. Looking pretty good. Yeah. Buddy, what came free with your food? Uh, it was delicious. Ice cream sandwich. Chocolate peanut butter pie is what I got for dessert. It looks so good. I'm going to eat it right now. And Jen got a lemon blueberry oh, cheesecake. That's okay. <laughs> so I got this the other night at the other restaurant. The sister restaurant. Yeah, and I gave it to your dad. And then I was like, I took a little bite and it was so delicious. So I'm glad we came so I could try a, a whole one. Oh yeah. All right, so this vacation has been fantastic. All that we've been doing really is swimming in the pool. And I know we have a pool at home, but this pool is at the beach. So it's better. <laughs> Uh, we did go to the beach one day, but today I think we're just going to spend some time swimming in the pool. Super fun, super enjoyable. So, and Jackson's been getting so good at swimming. Yeah, he's been doing really good at swimming. He's been so, really improving. Let's go get the GoPro and get in the water. Also, side note, I had on this camera, which is the ZV-E1, the one that we're filming on right here, I had this lens on it, this Tamron 20-40 to wide-angle lens, uh, 2.8, and it just stopped working. Like, I have it on the... A7S III right now, and I don't even know if you guys will be able to see inside of there, but when I turn it on, you guys hear it trying to adjust the f-stop, and it's not able to do it. So, yeah, that's uh, that's an issue right there. This lens is giving me an issue. All right, come swim to me. Come get me. Come get me. Come get me. <laughs> I was trying to show off how good at swimming you were, and you're not swimming, you're just floating at me. We're in the car right now. Good afternoon. It is the last day, actually. It's Friday. We're leaving tomorrow. But we are headed to the mini golf. So there's mini golf on the island, and we actually have never been here. We didn't know about it, but the cousins told us about it, and I guess they went on their last trip. And we thought, you know who might like that? This little guy back here. Right, bud? Oh, I saw a VW bug. You saw a VW bug? You did. Wow. So we're going to check out the mini golf place. We might do a little bit of shopping. But if you look, it is a um, an overcast day. I don't think it's supposed to rain. But it's definitely not maybe like the best beach day. So we thought, let's, let's, uh, let's explore the island and do some things we haven't done before. Right? Yeah. You hear baby brother talking? Yeah, he's saying... I don't really like the car. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying it's okay, baby brother. We're not going very far. We're almost there. Jackson has seen more Volkswagens on this island than we've seen anywhere ever. So I said maybe it's a popular beach car, a Volkswagen. Maybe. Yeah. So we stopped off at the Royal Palm because the uh, the mini golf is right across the street. But they have Tesla charger over here, so we're able to charge. So you just got to tip the guy. And pay, you pay. I bet the electric you pay for. This is it. This is where we're going to go do mini golf right here. The fish hole. I'm excited to try it. See what it is. See what kind of fun we get into. But first, right next door, a stop into the Fudge Factory Chocolate Factory. I wonder what kind of stuff they're factorying. Oh my goodness. Look at all this deliciousness. Ooh. Oh no, it is addictive. Warning. Bacon, egg, and waffle flavored gummies? Yeah. That sounds disgusting. I kind of want to get this for our, we were making that package for our friends in the UK. Oh yeah, that's true. Wouldn't that be funny? That'd be they have silly. a pizza one too. I wonder if it's pizza flavor. Oh yeah. Look at this. This is just like sugar. It's pucker powder, <laughs> right? But you put it in these tubes, but I didn't realize that there was this mega tube. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. It's like five feet tall. I really don't understand like why they do this with like sour stuff. Why do they call it toxic waste or like smog balls? The nuclear fusion, hazardous sour candy. Wow, you just roll this on your tongue. This is kind of fun and exciting because they're not like putt putt clubs. They're like, I can get a like a, what is this? Like a pitching wedge? I'm gonna play with a pitching wedge. I might do this one because it's wild looking. Look at this thing, it's gigantic. 
pretty basic mini golf stuff going on. There's a, a boat coming through the roof here. Got to go through the archway. Very compact little oh, course though. This one's called the striped mullet. Oh, what was the first one called? The first one was the hammerhead shark. Oh, okay. The record size of a, of a striped mullet is 14 pounds. Whoa, that's pretty big. Yeah. I like this waterfall that's just shooting out of the thing. Yeah, three. I got two. The striped mullet is, is good for, um, for smoking. Oh. Not good for frying so much, but you can smoke it. These are all local, local uh, wildlife here. The food quality is good. What does that mean? Oh, you can catch it. Live or cut bait. Oh, it jumps. It does aerobatic jumping. Looking good, buddy. Doing good. Good job. Well, there's real turtles on this course. Look at them. Those are not animatronics. They are actual turtles. Wow. Oh, they're fighting. Oop. Let's see you do your whole 18. Whoa. You gotta jump it over the alligator. Don't go in, don't go in, I'll get you. All right, good job. Look at that, you gotta do a little rampy jump. Wow. Oh, there's a child. Oh, you got your little foot wet. He made it, he jumped the, jumped the, the water feature there. Nice work, buddy. All right, let's give it a try. I can go in any one and I might get Something here. Free round, dollar off per person. I want this free shark's tooth. Let's try it. Ah, oh, I was very close. Didn't get anything. All right, last day, last hour. Look at this sunset. Ah. Also, the reverse. Are they? Oh, look, there's a bunch of, at least one other people out on the roof. They're a little bit higher than us, I think. All right, so we have made it back home. We actually checked out the night before. So the way that the rentals work on Anna Maria Island, everybody checks in on Saturday and everybody checks out on Saturday. So you, you're you all coming in at the same time. Everybody checks in at 4 p.m. on Saturday and the entire island checks out at 10 a.m. the following Saturday. Yeah. So we decided to try to beat some of that traffic. We left the previous evening and to beat the rain. There was yeah. a huge storm that came in. So we, that's what we did. So we got home pretty late on Friday evening. And I will say, totally worth it because there was a lot to clean up. There was a oh, lot yeah. to pack. And it was like easier to do without any timetable to it. Like yeah. I could I could drive until 1 a.m. Checkout time was 10 a.m. Yeah, so we, like, we had to be done by 10. I, I would have been rushing around, waking up at like 5.30 in the morning, getting just throwing stuff in the car. We this brought, way I was yeah. able to pack and everything. We brought way too much stuff. I think this trip really helped us to realize that we overpack. You say that a lot. <laughs> but I had a really great time. We had so much fun. I do have to also admit, speaking of overpacking though, there were only maybe like four things that we didn't use that we packed. Really? Yeah. I felt like there was a lot more. No, we brought home a lot of food. Oh yeah, That's and I, I talk about that in a later home blog that you'll see. Yeah. But yeah, so we... um. We, we had so much fun. We hung out. Jackson had so much fun with the cousins. Jackson got really good at swimming. Yeah. Can you guys believe it? I guess you haven't seen his progression as much as we have, but he's doing great. We're yeah, so is. proud of him. So hopefully he'll move up in swim classes into the next level. That's what we're hoping for. But I highly recommend going to Anna Maria Island. If you haven't already been, definitely check it out. It's beautiful. It's, it's so just... It feels so like small town right. and it's just, I don't know, it's just such a great time. You always have fun on Anna Maria Island. It's a nice little island. Mm -hmm. So all in all, it was a fantastic week. With that being said. Happy anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary. And happy Father's Day. We celebrated um, our wedding anniversary and Father's Day. So there you go. Yeah, I'm a rad dad. <laughs> so with that being said, we're off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.